the buildings are dilapidated. But the UN mission for emergency Ebola response is paying for the old police barracks to be transformed. Families who had been driven out of their communities for having a relative with Ebola live here now. Mohamed Saido Kamara is one of them. My landlord, as soon as he, he heard that my father was positive, he became annoyed with me. Even that night, I went to the police station and reports, and the police officer told my landlord to let me stay for the night. The morning, some other NGO come around me, and then they call. They said they are going to find a quarantine place for me and my family. Guinea, Sierra Leone and Liberia are still struggling with Ebola. The situation has improved since the height of the outbreak, but new cases are still being reported, so putting people in quarantine is crucial. We provide them with comfortable place to sleep, bed nets, toiletries, four meal per day. We even give them hygienists to take care of their place. Across the country, people have been placed in quarantine. The measures come after the government imposed the lockdown to look for new Ebola cases. When they are here, we don't allow people to get contact with them. We, don't, we restrict visitors. They only come, they stay far, talk to them, but we don't even allow visitors here. Liberia, Sierra Leone and Guinea have given themselves until the 16th of April to have no new cases. That's just over a week away. So Ebola-affected nations are stepping up their efforts to stop the spread of the deadly virus. Jane Kale, CCTV.